we've got Alexandria in the house today, and she is in Nassau, Bahamas. Ooh, I can just feel that sunshine. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is an incredible woman who's recently come into my life, and she is the light. Let me tell you, youth pastor, author, resilient coach. Anyway, she's going to be one of our speakers on Stand Up, Speak Up, and Show Up. You got to hear this woman's story. But we're not talking about that today. We are talking about what you and I both love and what the world loves, and that is the power of music. That is yeah. why They Did It Tour is puffing itself across Ireland and sharing globally the power of music. And Alexandria, can you please share with us, what is your one of, one of your most magical moments with music? Wow, my magical moment with music happened while I was in grad school. So from the Bahamas, poor girl from a small country was able to land a job in an organization that saw my talent. And they said, okay, we're not gonna only give you time off, we're gonna give you a salary so that you can sustain yourself while you complete your master's. First year had some hiccups, going into my second year, only to find out that I failed a major exam. And that meant I would not be able to do my practicum on time. And that meant I would not graduate on time. So Deb, I was devastated. No. It was like, what do I tell my boss? What do I tell my organization? I was embarrassed. But you know, in that moment, I reached over to my laptop and I listened to one of my favorite songs. It's called Hallelujah by Jermaine Edwards. Ooh. And as I listened to that song, Deb, I worshiped. And in that moment, I got such strength and hope and courage. And I think it was the strength, the hope and courage that was harnessed in that moment that helped me to not only graduate, but deal with the, the tragedies that was looming just ahead that I wasn't even aware of. So that's my magical moment with music. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so, that's so deep. You know what I mean? That's so deep. It's like, okay, you guys, I mean, when... When have we not been at crossroads? When have we not been embarrassed or disappointed or, you know, kind of hard on ourselves? When yeah. did something not go the way that we wanted it to go? And not only that, but that was kind of like in a little bit of a public view. Like it wasn't one of those things that happened that you could just like kind of lurk away and write about it in your journal and call your best friend. You know what I mean? Right. That, that one was like, there was some ownership and there was some things that kind of honestly were out of your control. And yeah. I mean, if we did a show alone on how the song Hallelujah from all the different artists that we know, Leonard Cohen, right? Katie Lang, all of them, all of them. I mean, how many people have listened to that song Hallelujah and been lifted up? Like that is a rise up song. That is like to your core, it vibrates, right? So yeah. But yeah. let's let I the one thing I do know is that, yes, mm -hmm. you went back and you graduated and you are rocking it and you are from a town of 300 people and yeah. you they are so proud of you. You are actually putting that town on the history map with what you're doing. Right. That's right. So so there was a rise, you know, there was a rise that came from that. And, and that's just, yeah. that's such a beautiful moment. So yes. um, you guys, we've all used it to rise up. Like we've all used music to rise up. Um, thank you so much for sharing that. And look at if you guys are inspired, and I know you are, because we are, we're inspired about music. I'm sure you are as well. We're really here to support the community, the music community, be able not only to rise up, but continue to take care of themselves and pay things like rent and, you know, really be able to have a life as a musician because it's in, it's, that's what they're meant to do. That's how they're serving us. And so we want to serve them and it's time to give back because we have so used, not just always, but these last few years, we have just sucked in the, you know, the juice of music and used it to keep going on and be, you know, resilient like you are. Um, so pop over to They Did It to our Facebook group, post how you feel about music, put anything you want out there about music. If you're in the music community or know someone, put it out there so we can support. And that They Did It to our Facebook group is the place to go, follow the journey, watch us go and do this incredible event in Ireland. We're going to be doing, this is going to be active all the way to the end of 2024 and probably then some, I'm not saying I got to get through eight marathons first, but if this is your time and you feel like you want to support, you want to give back, 
we so as a community would appreciate if you want to do some donation on the donation page in your name or in someone else's name, or you want to participate bigger and you want your business to be involved, we are actually happy to share your business from the rooftops to support this incredible event. Contact me personally. And um, yeah, so they did a tour.ca. Thank you so much from Nassau, Bahamas, um, coming and joining us today. We can't wait to see you on stage very, very soon, Alessandra. Um, and until then, you guys be well and stay groovy. Bye for now.